Hello, and welcome to another tiny video for the Intelligence and National Security Studies course. Let's assume you are midway through the school year and you want to do a check on learning while also introducing the President's Daily Brief, which is often referred to as the PDB. Let's start with one of the most important questions. What is the purpose of intelligence? Now, your students probably recall historical examples of how intelligence was instrumental in a war or conflict. So let's pull that thread a little bit and examine the purpose of intelligence. Well, the short answer is to understand the adversary's intent, their capabilities, and the overall effects the adversary could have on U.S. interest. So naturally, one may wonder, okay, so how do intelligence professionals deliver intelligence to decision makers? Primarily, there are two ways, through oral presentations, like a brief, and written reports. Now, either one of these products and its mode of delivery could stem from uh, various types of intelligence reports right? It could be pulled from a particular intelligence discipline, as your students have started to learn about, or it could be derived from a lot of intelligence and then packaged as an off-source intelligence product. A great example of this kind of off-source intelligence product that's pulled from various organizations and entities is the President's Daily Brief. It is oftentimes a source of valuable information for the president that allows um, them to actually understand the environment and then have enough information to uh, make a decision or ask additional questions. That this particular document or series of documents, really, it's in a book, um, has been presented in various forms since 1946. It is required that it is coordinated and delivered by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, which means there's definitely some contributions from various IC organizations. But it is important to note it has evolved in terms of how it's delivered and packaged based on each president's need. For example, some prefer to receive information through an oral presentation and someone standing there in person briefing the president and being prepared to answer questions. Others have preferred it be a printed book, uh, and some have taken advantage of technology and requested it be provided through a digital tablet. One of the things that's very interesting to note in the intelligence community is an analyst considers it to be a prestigious thing to have one of their articles actually published in the President's Daily Brief. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.